This technique is called Dogaishi. It's the second technique in Tagagi Yoshiru. Dogaishi means to take the body, which is Do, and to reverse it or to turn it over, which is Gaishi. The principle of Tagagi Yoshiru is to not allow your opponent the ability to break fall. Most people who've trained in martial arts can do some type of an ukemi to protect themselves. We're trying to take that away from them. Here's some of the details on Dogaishi. So we start as Seiza with our toes up. As the person punches into the stomach, I'm going to move my right knee over some, catching this down as I'm turning in, pushing this knee and striking. I'm going to do all of that in one motion. So my right hand is pulling and my left hand is going away, almost like I'm pulling on a bump. And then I'm going to continue to wrap this around as he falls. This arm now breaks. This is a break. Catching the gi, I can either use it and make him come over top. If I want to be a little nice, I can come down a little bit lower. Keeping pressure with my knee the entire time. As I bring him over, keeping pressure with my knee, still having this choke, still pulling up here the whole entire time. As he comes down to the ground, I'm going to use my body weight, being able to do one, two, and three at the same time. Then catching this lapel, pull, break, break, around, keep control of him. All right? Yeah! The same technique can be done standing. If he punches in, and we do the same thing. Disrupt this balance. Pull here. Down. Use this across. And then from here, be able to keep some type of a lock so I have control of it. All the time. That's it. That comes in. Yeah. One, two, three. And then keep some type of control. Thing. Yeah, this is here, hard. When he falls down, when he falls down, this is staying here. And right here, that was the break. So with a broken arm, I'm pulling this around. I can catch this shime, keep him down. Use my body weight. Just like before, we're moving around. Tap comes in. Yeah. Keep control. So that is Dogaishi.